fellows and fellas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. A little shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Joey, the taco, Bellagio. How you doing, Joey? That's good. All right, we'll talk about that later. Listen, so I took my seats out the other day. You saw the video uh, to do some prep, some full prep before I go to the track tomorrow. And I found water. And I'm like, it's the third brake light, right? Well, I, I checked that. I put a bunch of water over the third brake light. There's no water. So I am going to make a video on the third brake light. I have a leak proof method. I'm going to do a separate video on because... It's just a matter of time when that thing's gonna start leaking, so I'm gonna do a video on that. But it wasn't the third brake light. All the water I had in here, and I had a good amount of moisture. Let me turn the camera real quick. I had a good amount of moisture here, here. I even took this thing off. It's got a seal on it. It's soaking wet. I'm probably gonna put some silicone here just because this thing should be covered 100%, it's not. The other ones are covered 100%, like the one down there. There's one right there. This one's not. I'm gonna take it off and silicone it. And there was a lot of moisture down here as well, like a lot. So what I'm gonna do is uh, seal those areas. And I did find the culprit of the leak. Let me show you. All right. Last time my third brake light was leaking, everyone's like, it's your vents, it's your vents. And it wasn't the vents, but this time it is. And this might've been you know, a problem before, and I didn't really see it, but this time, I don't know if you can see it. You can see a, a drip mark there, like a dirt mark. And then if you look close here, you can see kind of like a white drip mark coming down. And that's, I just soaked this area. Yeah, there's water inside the vent, obviously, a little bit. When your blower comes on for the AC or the heat, it opens up. That way, you know, cabin pressure doesn't block, ruin your ears. And understandable to have a little water here. So I, I spray it directly on it. But I'm having water actually come out under here. And it dripped down right there. And on this side as well, <clears throat> you see a water mark there. So there's water coming from around. You can see the dirt mark there too, a little water stain. There's water coming from around the vents. I did just get back from New Hampshire. It was raining the whole time and water was obviously coming in during the rainstorm while I was driving. So what I'm gonna do is get some uh, silicone two by GE, GE silicone two. I'm gonna put a fat bead around each one of these vents and that'll stop the leaking. I'm also gonna do a separate video on the third brake light, the leak proof wig that I, my little brain came up with. I'll do a separate video on that. So let's silicone these up. All right, GE silicone too. This is good stuff. Skin's over pretty quick too. I'm gonna do this hole, seal around this hole, that grommet. That one right there, I had water around it and I popped that one up, I'm gonna do this one as well. That one as well. Dry the areas before I apply the silicone. I'm gonna silicone around these as well. well let's get to it. All right, I changed my mind. I'm gonna pop all these up because I popped this one up right here that goes right here on the left side of the truck. And there's an incredible amount of water around it. This one wasn't even sticking. There's a ton of water under here. What happens is when you're driving on the highway on the street, it's raining out, the splash up comes up from your tires and from the road, it sneaks in here. And I think this has been filling up with water, causing everything to get wet and stay moist. Same with over there. I popped this one up as well. This stuff is just dampening, like like uh, like the stuff back in the day I used to use when I had my systems in my truck, um, like Dino Mat. That's all this is, just to keep the noise down. So I popped that one up too. This one was soaking wet as well. It wasn't even sealed. So I'll silicone that back down, silicone around that. I'm gonna do them all just to make sure because I don't want to do this again. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just putting a bead on the old gasket of silicone, putting some silicone here and there just to, you know, it's going back on the dampening sheet. So it has a purpose, so it's going back on. I'm gonna stick it on right back in the hole. Silicone squirting out. That's it. Let it dry and it's sealed. I did that one. 
Did that one. I did that one. This one's all sealed. I put this piece off. I put this piece back on. It broke off. Put some silicone underneath it. That way when it dries, it's doing its purpose after it dries. All right, I'll let the silicone dry about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I sealed around both vents in the back of the cab. This is a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 crew cab. Um, no leaks, so that's good. No leaks at all. The water I had dripping here, the water I had dripping there and there and here, there's no more, so that's that's awesome. Uh, again, there's a little bit of water in the, you know, where the vent opens up, but this is flashed properly, so when water comes down, it doesn't come in. But you're gonna get a little tiny bit. Um, it is what it is. It's, it's there, so there's nothing really you can do about that. You can block them, but then you, you might burn your motor out on your heater if you got the windows up. That's what that design for is designed to move air when the blower comes on. And it's also when you shut your doors, you don't blow your eardrums out. Okay, these are all sealed up. Oh, that one, that one, that one, those two, and that one as well. Uh, again, the best way to seal these up would be to take the bed off the truck because they are on the back of the cab. But I'm not doing that. That's a lot of work. And I just sealed it from the inside. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got no time for that. I'm not going to put the seats back in because I'm going on the track tomorrow. I'll put them in uh, next week. But that's sealed. It wasn't the brake light this time. It was the vents. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out. If you're having leaking problems in your back of your cab or your cab or your truck smells like a dirty foot, it's most likely a leak in the back. It's either the third brake light or these vents. And it could possibly be the grommets that are underneath the seats. I mean, pull them up, silicone them, just to prevent leaks in the future. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That'd be great. I am doing a separate video on the third brake light. I think I do have a leak-proof way uh, to keep it from leaking because eventually that gas is going to go. And I don't want to have to buy a new one, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to do a 100-octane uh, pull on my truck. I just got it, Jason, to me last night. I'm going to upload it, and i got to set him a log, so I figured to take it along with me. Stay tuned for that as well. All right, guys, till next time. Later.